definitely is important. I mean, a lot of people have came up off the uh, social media, whether it's YouTube, back in the days when shit really started popping, MySpace and, you know, Twitter. Definitely, I'm heavy on Twitter. Um, it's definitely important, you know. It's ways for you to connect to your your, 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 art, your, your, your crowd or your supporters or whoever you want to tap into. I mean, yeah, you got a lot of... Um, scam accounts and bots and shit and you got motherfuckers hating all the time or feel like they can just say whatever the fuck they want in the comic but shit now you can turn the comments off or i don't know niggas can't get into your dms or whatever the case may be so it's definitely important but i still feel like you know it's de definitely necessary to you know definitely go outside with it you know do these pop-ups you know do these performances and all that and being people faces like i'm on some not to say old school shit but um, I'm used to being outside, handing out mixtapes or handing out tapes. You know, let me get five dollars. If you ain't got five, let me get a three piece. If not, let me get a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Selling out my merchandise like that, hand in hand. You feel me? But social media definitely helps because you can connect to somebody across the state, across the country, across the world. So it definitely plays a major part, especially now. It's just shit, being a father, man. Like this shit ain't easy. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm a father of two girls. That's definitely not easy for me, but I try to juggle it. That's definitely my proudest moment. Um, shit, just surviving, man. On top of that, surviving. You know what I mean? Just being a, being a solid individual. You know, uh, just that's all I can really think of. Like being outside in the streets and shit, trying to play this lifestyle and really going through with certain individuals and, and real shit. Like just surviving that and, and being able to still kind of be tied in but not tied in you feel me but just to be there for my kids that's probably the proudest proudest moment musically wise um i don't think i'm really there yet just to speak on music wise to say what's my proudest moment but just being able to put out good bodies of music over the last couple years i'll definitely say i'm proud of myself for that but i'm still i'm still going it's definitely a struggle at times to stay motivated with you know trying to find the right producers to you know work with and find the right beats to create um life always happens you know what i'm saying so finding material is not always the hardest but kind of trying to put whatever you're going through onto a beat that you found is sometimes tricky um just staying inspired is just you know trying to just see if i can get these get these 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 songs these mixtapes these these albums out to potentially have me not have to do other shit to get money and, and eat off of this at the end of the day this is the music business so i'm in the business to make money you feel me so i try to think about it in that way and that helps me stay inspired inspired i'm a hustler so you know, long as it ain't no sucker shit or no weirdo shit, I, I do what I gotta do to get this money. So, um, besides that, I might listen to certain artists or see somebody else's progress and, and, and respect that they, they still pushing and, and getting where they, where they need to go. Like, seeing somebody else win, that definitely is motivation to me. So, I ain't, you know, never trying to hate on nobody. So, if you winning and if I fuck with you, that motivates me. If you a sucker ass nigga, but you winning, I might peep and say, all right, whatever, but that's still motivation. It's the ball on your ass, nigga. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I don't know when it's coming out, but my next EP is dropping on uh, February 17th of this year, 2023. Um, called Night Me on the Drug Block 2, The Survival. Uh, seven songs on that project. Definitely excited about that. Um, took a long, long process to get it done. Um, just back to trying to be motivated, get back re-inspired. You know, um, my last project I dropped was in 2020, the end of 2020, um, during the quarantine, If Can't Survive. If you haven't heard that, check that out. But with this, um, I'm definitely excited about Nightmare on the Drug Block 2. Um, sounds amazing. So hopefully, you know, y'all can check that out. And uh, i trying to shoot videos for that. And honestly, just work on the next um, next album. I'm trying to do another album, an album or two before this year is up and just keep stay consistent. So like I said, hopefully y'all tap in. Night me on the drug block too. Depending on when you see this, it's already out or it's coming out. Honestly, man, I just want y'all to tap into the music. I put out a lot of um projects um prior to 2023. A few mixtapes, a few albums, one EP, the new EP dropping soon. I just want y'all to tap into all my music. I put out a lot of singles on YouTube that you can go to my YouTube page, just type in my name. You can go back in the past and just get caught up to what I'm doing. Um, just be open and, like I said, the support. You know what I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wise individual. 
Like I said, I talk about street shit, but I talk about real life shit in general. It's not all about, you know, killing niggas and selling drugs with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I speak on those things as far as on what I've seen, what I've been through, you know, some self-defense shit. I ain't bragging about no no crimes that I've probably committed, and I ain't gonna snitch on myself. Hope y'all niggas know that. I ain't like these other niggas. But, you know what I mean? I try to just still at the same time drop knowledge itself. You know, give y'all mental, mental juice for y'all to go search and do your research on your own. You know, I try to, like I said, speak about just getting money, uplifting yourself because i'm still trying to get the bag myself you feel me so don't look at me like on no art no 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 fake ass rapper trying to be talking about shit i don't have or what i never did everything i speak on is real i might not i might have to switch shit up so i ain't indicting myself or indicting nobody else or just to keep certain people out of it or you know what i'm saying but i talk about real shit so just you know tap into the music like hit me in my dms about bars that you may have questions about or songs you may really like and tell me why you like them that shit definitely matters um hopefully soon i'll be back performing be touring and all that so just like i said i want y'all to support biggest thing is support man support 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 but like i said once again the new ep nightmare on the drug block 2 the survival was dropping soon or already dropped whenever you see this and i am the god i'm on rise still gonna die and gonna die is for those who don't know means to me to take any opportunity that is not given so that could be like i said street shit or life in general if they're not giving you an opportunity to succeed go take that shit you know what i'm saying by any means necessary yeah hopefully you don't have to do it do no bodily harm to nobody but end of the day if you gotta eat you gotta eat man all the survival so like I said, I'm the guy, I'm on rock. Going to die alumni, that's the culture. It's not a brain, that's the culture. It's had it on my flesh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really live this and salute the G's worldwide. Salute the, the, the honorable females, you know what I'm saying? The wizards out here that's holding it down for you, for yourself in general, you know what I'm saying? Attaining knowledge yourself, being beautiful on the outside and in the inside, you know what I'm saying? You know how I'm rocking. I ain't throw the Jews on because I'm trying to be real laid back and humble with it. But niggas know what it is, you feel me? Because VVs, baby, we do this. <laughs> but now nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. But just tap in, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all watching this and stay tuned. Peace. It's to God.